Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ness, and this is... <sighs> what's in my camera bag? been a long overdue video and it's been very hard to actually put this video together because I'm always changing out stuff in my kit. I finally, finally, finally say, you know what? You know what? Let's just record this video. Let's just do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just do it. So this is going to be kind of a long video, but I'm going to try to make it as interesting as possible and I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. So first things first, let's go ahead and get this. Boom. A7 III. Now, what can I say about this camera? This camera, like, it does everything. This camera has been like my go-to for all of my video work. From time to time when I don't feel like using my other camera, I might use this. This is probably like the camera that I've been recommending to everybody. A7 III, good tech. Okay. Next up on the list is my A7 R4, which I'm currently recording on. So we're just gonna go ahead and just throw some nice B-roll in there. I could go on and on about my A7R4, but this is my go-to camera for a lot of my professional work, whether it be beauty, uh, fashion, psh, videography, whatever. And truth be told, I just started using it for video and I really love what it's doing right now, which is why I decided to shoot this on the A7R4. Now, who's this camera for? I would say that this camera is for anybody that's really into a lot of detail in their work. Keep in mind that the file sizes are huge. 61 megapixels, the video's crazy, the colors are crazy. This is, you know what I'm saying, A7R4. Magnifique. That's it for my cameras for now. Now let's get on to my lenses. Now my lenses, my lenses, my lenses. Let's get to the lenses. First lens on the list is the Sony 24 1.4 G Master. Whenever you're shooting at this focal length, like when it comes to fashion and stuff like that, uh, it gives your model the appearance of being long and lanky. And that's what I love in the photo world. In the video world, I love how wide it is. Pause. And I love that it's a 1.4. I highly recommend this to anyone that's shooting like video, especially if you're using gimbals and all that type of stuff. Um, it's a great lens, small form factor, gotta get it. The next lens straight out of my bag, but it's actually on the camera right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cue some more B-roll ready. <clears throat> now this is one of the first lenses that I bought when I started photography. Uh, what I love about this lens is that it's a 24 to 70, you know what I'm saying, that's zoom, and it gives you a little compression when you zoom in, but what I, I just love the versatility of this lens. You can, you know, get wide shots or you can zoom in and get you know a couple tight shots. But um, this is one of those lenses that I always recommend people get when they want to start vlogging, whether it be for Instagram, YouTube, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? The 24 to 70 is a go. A lot of my video work before I had the 24 was done with the 24 to 70 G Master. 24 to 70, gotta get it, let's move on. Yeah. Next lens straight up in my bag, the 85 1.4 G Master. So when it comes to my 85 1.4, what do I use this for? I use this lens for a lot of portraiture sometimes when I'm outside. I love the, um, the compression. I love how this just pulls the subject forward. I love the bokeh on this. The bokeh, the bokeh, the bokeh. Whatever it's called, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Or however you pronunciate it, I love it. It's, it's really heavy. So that's the 85 1.4, folks. You know what I'm saying? Get you one if you don't have one already. And keep in mind, all this stuff is expensive, but I got this stuff over time. It didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get all this stuff overnight. So, you know what I'm saying? Take your time, right? Take your time. Next lens on the list. Sony 90 millimeter G. So this lens I use right here for all of my macro beauty work and sometimes some of my beauty photography. Um, this lens is very sharp. Uh, it uses some of Sony's old focusing technology, so it doesn't focus as fast, but it still focuses fast nonetheless. It's a great lens for those little detail shots that you want. When you want to get really close in on a subject, as a matter of fact, all the B-roll that you're seeing on this video um, was shot with this lens. I highly recommend this lens to anybody that wants to get into like food photography or just like, you know, fashion photography, but the details or even beauty photography when you know, capturing skin and just makeup and stuff like that. This lens right here, even for video, video is crazy too. Like don't get it twisted. Shh, shh. This is crazy. And finally, 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 my favorite lens. The 24, I lied. My favorite lens of all time, as of right now. The 70 to 200. G Master. This lens right here is taking my photography career to the next level. <laughs> the work that I was able to pump out from this lens and just mastering this lens and just knowing how to use this lens, 
um, has just been amazing. And this is one of those lenses that I will tell you that if you buy it, you will not be disappointed in the quality that you're gonna be able to produce, but you need to know what you're buying this lens for. I use this lens for fashion, I use this lens for beauty, I use this lens for video, I use this lens for everything. This lens will always be on my person whenever I'm creating some sort of content because it is that good and I stand by it a thousand percent. The nuts, all right? <laughs> it's fucking lit, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Next on what's in my camera bag is this little dongly thing. It's an SD card reader for your iPhone. And this is so good because there's certain times where I might be out and I just wanna take a shot of something, I just wanna upload it to my phone quickly. Uh, I know that it's gonna be high quality. It's a major key, you should get one. Yeah? Yeah, little dongly thing by Apple, SD card reader, all right? All right, so let's just keep going. So this is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Currently, I am not using this because I'm testing out the new mic that I just bought for my camera bag, which is on the camera right now. But in any, any other time, I'm using this. And what I love about this is that as soon as you plug it up and turn your camera on, uh, this automatically turns on. So you don't ever have to worry about, uh, you know what I'm saying, forgetting to turn on the microphone with the camera. I'm not gonna get too much into it. Just, it's a good mic, okay? Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, gotta get one. The next thing in my bag is this little memory card holder by Think Tank, and it's something like really small and people might overlook it, but it's actually really efficient. So what I like about it is that you can hold a bunch of memory cards, no matter what size, you can hold CFast cards, you can hold SD cards, you can hold the micro SD cards, I have those in the back. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just dope. You can even double up inside the sleeves um, on certain cards and, and it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's small, it's, it's lightweight, it's, uh, it's waterproof and it gets the job done. So yeah, this little thing, major key. Let's uh, get it out of here though. Yeah, yeah, I'm not done. So the next thing in my bag is this little Instax SQ10 Polaroid camera. This is really good for capturing certain moments in your career. I'm, you know, it's, it's, a, it's another camera, it's a Polaroid camera. Like Polaroid cameras, they're just dope. Like by default, you, you press the button, it pops out the top. It's just really fire. You know, I wanted to be able to capture those moments, especially in my career, and just me, you know what I'm saying? Being able to just look through all my Polaroids and just be like, wow. I met that person, wow, I shot this person, wow. I, I did this type of you know photo shoot for this brand or whatever. This is uh, pretty lit, you know what I'm saying? Hold that gang shit. So the next thing on my list, and we gotta keep it going, is this little aperture light. But I always keep this in my camera bag because when I want those extra little hints of light, this does it for me, it's a little bit heavy, but um, it can go from cold to warm, so tungsten to daylight. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty powerful light. If I turn it on here, you know what I'm saying? See that little hair light? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's pretty lit. No pun intended. <laughs> it's pretty lit. It's pretty lit. So the next piece of kit that I carry in my bag that's not on this table and not in my hand, it's actually on my chest. It's on my chest. Is the Sennheiser AVX Digital Wireless Lavalier Mic Set. This is my first time using it, so the quality of this video, this whole video, has been shot with me using this mic system. And um, I'm actually testing out for the first time. So if it sounds like doo-doo, I'm sorry. If it sounds great, then yeah, this is what I, that's what I bought it for. If you're too loud or too low, it'll adjust for you. And then that also makes your job easier in post because you don't have to go through your levels and like fix any, anything that's peaking. So that's what I really loved about it. And it is great. So that is that. So next thing in my kit is this little squeegee thingy and it's used for blowing out dust off your equipment. Um, you know, your lenses, before you put a lens on, you should be holding the camera face down, blow up, word, blow the lens out. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> nah, but for real, for real, this is definitely something that you should have in your kit. Don't use your mouth, pause. Don't blow on the sensor of the lens, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You all spitting, corona's a thing. Good buys. The next thing in my camera bag are these Peter McKinnon ND filters. Here we have the two to five, and here we have the six to nine. The reason why I got the two to five and the six to nine is because sometimes when I'm shooting video and I'm outside and I want my, you know, the sky looks blown out and the model looks blown out and I wanna keep my settings where they are at, uh, this right here, these right here will change the game. These are pro grade ND filters. Um, they're, they are expensive, but what's not expensive these days that's pro grade right i'm a big fan of peter mckinnon i really love what he's doing 
I just love his story, you know what I'm saying? I've been watching him since he started and just so happy for that guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Peter McKinnon, I got your indie filters, bro. You know what I'm saying? We lit. So the next thing in my camera bag are these step up and step down rings. So a quick tip for anybody buying an indie filter or any kind of filter, always get the biggest thread size and millimeter size that you have in your camera bag at the moment. So I think the lens in my bag with the biggest thread size is the 24 to 70, which is the 82 millimeter, which is what this is, just so that this filter can fit on all of my lenses. I have a step up ring and a step down ring for every lens in my bag. And these are very cheap and affordable. These step down rings and step up rings are a major go in your kit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Before I forget and people ask me, this is the Pro Tactic 450 AW Low Pro Bag, the Active Zone. I'm gonna be getting a new bag. I don't know if anybody will want this. Uh, I'll probably sell it for really cheap. But that's about it for what's in my camera bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I appreciate all of you guys for, you know, just tuning in and being curious about what I use. Go check out the rest of my video. Subscribe if you like this video. And if you're a fan of my work or anything that I do, make sure you drop a comment and, you know, let's start a conversation up. You know, we got, we got plenty of time. Talk to you later. Peace. How do, how do I want to van? How do I want to get out of here? I'm going to just walk off. I'm not going to do all that extra. Not today. Peace.